Hey everyone, it's Jason, and do you have a cruise planned on Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas? Well, this is going to be my full review of the ship. It was an amazing ship. We enjoyed it so much, and I can't wait to tell you about it. And I'm going to break it down into four categories, and I'm going to rate each one of those categories from one to five stars. So number one is the ship, and it's so gorgeous. It is so well taken care of, and I know it's only three years old, and Royal Caribbean, though, does an excellent job of taking care of their cruise ships. There's many highlights on this cruise ship. The one thing that I absolutely loved was the solarium. It was gorgeous. It was this beautiful stepped pool that had these seats down at the bottom. And I always was like, is this seat's gonna be, like chair's gonna be comfortable? The green chairs are absolutely comfortable and worth sitting in. And then they have the four hot tubs and it's just overall a beautiful area. It's very low key, it's very chilled. And it's, I think personally, the most amazing solarium that we've ever been on in 35 cruises. It is really gorgeous. So it's something you're gonna to wanna to check out and make sure to get there sooner rather than later because you're gonna go, why wasn't I here all week? I can tell you we were glad we found that on day one. And a part of that is the Solarium Bistro. The food there is excellent. And if you don't like to be involved in all the crowds, you don't wanna have all the crowds in the wind jammer, I get it, neither do I, that is a great alternative. Now, the one thing I will say is you don't have as many options as you would on the Windjammer, but you can always find something to eat. The second place that I really enjoyed about this cruise ship was the Cplex area. Now, this is great for families because your kids can be playing basketball or doing bumper cars, and you can be up at Playmakers having a drink and eating a burger if you want. It's a really cool, interactive area for families for all ages. I have really liked it. Now, my last place that I'm going to talk about is the pool area. And what a gorgeous pool area. I'm in a Caribbean cruise and you're somewhere tropical. I want to see a tropical, vibrant colors in my pool area. And they knocked it out of the park with this. It is absolutely gorgeous, very tropical. Always had someone playing steel drum bands. You just really felt like in the island vibe, totally chilled. Why we're talking about the pool deck, my opinion is you gotta try the North Star. I get you may be scared of heights. I'm not a big heights fan. Uh, I tell you what, I was actually down on one knee, nervous, my leg was shaking. We're 300 feet in the air. But I have to tell you, it was so worth the experience. Now, what I would say to you is do the at port experience before doing the at sea experience. It's a totally different experience. It's about half that the amount of time. Uh, it's eight minutes versus 16 minutes. And it's nowhere near as big of a deal. That's one thing I would try first. We made that mistake and did it the opposite. So what would I rate the Odyssey of the Seas? And it's a five star. It's five out of five. I could go on this cruise ship for every single cruise. You guys would be bored of the channel if I did that, but I would absolutely do it for every cruise. It's just 100% gorgeous, and you're going to love this cruise ship. So number two is the entertainment, and full disclosure, we did entertainment differently on this cruise, on the Odyssey of the Seas, than we've ever done on any other Royal Caribbean cruise. We decided we just wanted to hear live musicians. So we went down to the Crown and Compass pub almost every single night and heard someone playing the guitar. It was really amazing. And we went to the Schooner Bar and heard someone on the piano. Those two places provided a ton of great entertainment. We didn't even make it to the Music Hall, 270, or the Royal Theater. None of those places we made it to. Everyone was raving about the entertainment, but we had a great time doing that. And that's one thing I love about Royal Caribbean. Whatever you choose to do, you're going to have high quality entertainment in many different venues. I have to rank it a five out of five. We just had some great nights listening to some live music. So number three is our balcony cabin, 10162. And I have to say, absolutely love this cabin. Now there was a couple things I was a little concerned about. One, it's near a hallway. So the stairs and the noise from it, we never heard anything. And the second thing was, is it sticks out because it's an extended balcony. So you see that it sticks out. If you look at the deck plans, the wall is kind of open to the hallway there. 
And I thought, well, we may get some noise there. No noise at all. Totally a quiet cabin. Also love when balcony cabins are the bed is by the balcony, and that's the case on 10162. I think overall it makes the cabin much quieter. Now, let's talk about the balcony itself. Huge, huge balcony. I don't think I've ever had a deep balcony like this. Uh, I think you could fit probably 10 to 12 people on it. Wonderful balcony. It rained a couple times, and we actually pulled our chairs back so we didn't get wet, and we really enjoyed that. So yes, I would recommend this cabin. It is a little more forward than we like to be in the ship. Typically, we pick more aft cabins, but this was an amazing location. We've hardly felt any movement, and we had seas up to 20 feet. I would rate this cabin a 5 out of 5 stars. So before I get to number four, which is food, and one of the most important things, I would ask that you please like this video, as it does help the channel grow. Also, consider subscribing, as we're on the path to 100,000 subscribers before we go on our Alaskan cruise at the end of August. If you could do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much. So number four is food, and food is subjective. You're gonna hear a lot of different people have different opinions on this, but to us, we thought the food on the Odyssey of the Seas was excellent. So the breakdown for dinner was we did four nights in specialty dining, two in the main dining room, and two, shockingly, in the buffet. We never do the buffet, but like I said earlier, it was kind of a different cruise for us. We were more chilled and relaxed on this cruise. So I'll start at the buffet. The buffet, I like that it was well laid out. This had a really good flow to it, and it had a lot of redundancies, and the redundancies were far away from people, so it spread people out throughout the buffet. Really like that. The main dining room we had there for the formal nights, we did a surf and turf night, and it was cooked medium rare, my steak, and it was perfect. What good service, good quality of food, and overall, I thought it was a great night for in the main dining room. So the specialty restaurants, we really enjoyed these. Now, we did Giovanni's, and this was the first time we'd ever tried, tried Giovanni's. So Giovanni's had probably the best, well, it did have the best, filet on the ship. It was better than Chops. So we originally had Chops twice, Giovanni's once, and we had Yuzumi. So Giovanni's, here's a few tips on this. Depending on what you want, if you want a nice, romantic, quiet evening, make sure to get a table inside the restaurant. If you like to people watch, you like to see people going by and you want to hear music and other things going on and the hustle and bustle, kind of the ship, sit outside. You'll see down to the main dining room because it's open there. It's just a really interesting experience. Now, we did both. And I prefer eating inside versus outside. We did have the same waiter each time, and he was amazing. I remember going, oh, man, is there any way I could get some, you know, surf with this, my turf, the um, filet? And he was like, yeah, I'll take care of you. He brings out this big bowl of fettuccine alfredo with five huge shrimp. They were basically prawns. And he did that both times for us. It was a really great experience. The pizza is excellent. So if you have a bigger group, you know, four of, four plus of you, get the pizza and each try a piece because it was really good. Chartreuse board was also excellent. And then we ate at Yuzumi. And I have to say, if I was going to pick one specialty restaurant, I'd be hard pressed between Yuzumi and Giovanni's. It would be like 1A and 1B. Now, Yuzumi is a really cool experience, and a tip here is this is a large Yuzumi. This is not like some of the smaller Yuzumis, and it's on a higher deck. I believe it's on deck 11 aft, and you have these floor-to-ceiling windows, and it's gorgeous. You see all the ocean. It's beautiful in there. Make sure to do it while maybe it's at sunset or you still have some daylight so you can enjoy that beautiful view. Now, one thing I will say about Yuzumi, and this is just a tip I always say, always, in my opinion, pick your Yuzumi night and just pay, pay for it outside of the dining package. You don't want to be locked out of Yuzumi. They have very few reservations there. That's something that we would always do because they have certain amount of seatings. I book Yuzumi no matter what just by itself, and then I'll book the three-night packages. 
that Royal Caribbean offers. So overall, I would give the food a four and a half out of five stars. And the reason why I gave it a four and a half and not a five was because a little bit of disappointing on the Chops Grill, I didn't think it lived up to the standard that you come to expect from specialty dining from Royal Caribbean. The other thing is, is the buffet during breakfast and lunch, it was the exact same thing each and every single day. Quite honestly, it got a little boring. And while I thought the process of going through the lines, they had it really down pat and did a great job with that, the food just got boring eating the same thing each and every single day. So that's my review of the Odyssey of the Seas. And overall, I would give it a five out of five stars. I would absolutely go back on this ship again. And if you have a cruise booked on the Odyssey of the Seas, you're gonna have an amazing time. We liked this class of ship so much that for our first cruise to Alaska, we actually booked a quantum class ship. We really enjoyed this size of ship and just all the amenities and things to do. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for the support. And until I talk to you next week, happy cruising.